everybody. So for those who don't know, I'm actually a battery researcher. I do an awful lot in um, battery research and battery development. So I have some really very nice kit for developing batteries. So things like the KDX 8000, uh, a very good Potentia Stat 273A. And I've got this thing right here. This is a BK Precision 8500 programmable DC load. What you do is you put in a fixed resistance and it'll measure the amps, the volts and the power consumption at the same time. Now it's really meant um, for batteries. So it works best on a stabilised DC load. Well, relatively stable, as stable as batteries are. It works really well on things like solar cells as well. Now I've never tried it on things like wind turbines because they're a little variable in their output, obviously, because you know, you're know you getting rotation through magnetic fields that vary quite a lot as far as these things are concerned. And so it will jump up and down as we read that stuff, but we'll be able to get a pretty good idea of how a generator is performing under a fixed condition like this without pre-stabilizing the voltage. We'll just, as a guesstimate of how these things are working, take the top figures of each, giving us an idea. Now, obviously, it's going to be unstable jumping around, so it will be some kind of average, but we can take that as a best-case scenario, if you like, just to tell us whether we're in the ballpark or not, because this does all of that stuff all at the same time. Now, I tend to put a, um, a light load on it, an LED, and take a voltage or ampage reading, and I feel that's sufficient for most of what we do on YouTube because they're demonstrations. But every now and then, people whine at me that I don't do things properly and I need to get some numbers, particularly if I'm saying something. And now, uh, I think that's kind of fair enough in some circumstances, and certainly when you want to compare things, it is. Well, this is the bit of kit I've got. It is £1,500, so it's not something you get a lot of. And I'm going to stick this kit on our Darwin turbine, and we'll see what the Darwin turbine does on this beautiful bit of precision equipment. Okay, we've got the fan on, we've got the BK Precision on, those figures will be jumping around a little bit, but what have we got, mate? Okay, you've got a, about a volt. <laughs> <laughs> nice. At around uh, 11 milliamps. E 11 milliamps? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that is 11 milliwatts from something that we should be getting, oh, about 4 milliwatts out of, something like that, for that wind speed and that size of... Um, turbine we've got in there so 11 milliamps is about twice what we should expect and of course that's not unreasonable because we're collecting twice the air anyway i thought i'd put it on a bit of good standard kit and we get a bit more of a professional reading out of that turns out that's pretty gosh darn blankety heck good <laughs> anyway i hope you enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like subscribe and click the bell notifications